Yeah, be careful with that fog as you head out this morning. The time now is 6.04 and we continue to follow breaking news involving a shooting on the canal in downtown Indianapolis. And our Alyssa Donovan has been tracking the very latest on that scene. She joins us live this morning with what she's learning from police. Alyssa. Good morning, and we're still working to learn more about what exactly led up to this shooting. We do know that one victim is dead, and that victim is a juvenile who, who was brought to the hospital where he later died. But you can see behind me, the crime lab is on scene. We've seen them taking pictures, and they've roped off an area here. This all happened in the 300 block of Walnut Avenue. That's where police were called to overnight. They say they were called to that area. Uh, it's just near the canal off of Senate Avenue. It was right around around two this morning when they arrived there on reports of shots fired. And when they got there, they found the victim as well as what they described as a large gathering of people. We're told they're talking to witnesses now from that group. The victim was taken to a nearby hospital in critical condition where he later died. And this adds to a violent weekend across the Circle City. Since Friday afternoon, 16 people have been shot. This morning, shooting one of two shootings that were deadly and police are still working to piece together all of the elements involved in this shooting near the canal. If you have any information on this shooting or others that happened over the weekend, you are asked to contact police and call Crime Stoppers. That number is 317-262-TIPS. Reporting live, Alyssa Donovan, RTV6. Alyssa, thank you. And we are following that other shooting from overnight. Two people recovering after a shooting on the west side. This one happened at 1145 Sunday night near 17th and Somerset. That's just west of 16th and Tibbs. The victims tell police they were inside their homes when bullets came through the walls. And according to officers, the victims believe this shooting was a drive-by. But they are not cooperating with the investigation.